Hello my friends and welcome to another video of my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how to use vectors. For this I need an image view. I'm going to add it here. If you don't know how to use it, you can click on this link and watch the video about image view. I'm going to connect it to the constraint. Then here in the resources package, in the drawable package, we need the vector. I'm going to right click on the drawable, click on new, and here we have vector assets. Here, if I click on this button, a list of different vectors will be appearing here. The vectors has different type of categories. Here, you can choose the category that you want. Action, for example, alert, or uh, any other thing. D depends on your application. And uh, here, you can choose the view of the vectors. For example, now it's on the field. And uh, all of the vectors are uh, filled by the color. Then, I can click on the outline. And it will be like this then round the corners will be round and sharp the corners will be sharp and the uh, two-tone it will be filled with uh, low opacity color in the vector so i'm going to leave it on this and uh, i'm going to click on all and it can be a good vector for our example then i'm going to click on ok here i can choose any color that i want for example a light blue is ok then i can change the name of it or maybe stop then clicking on next and finish and it will be added here i see underscore stop if you double click on it you can see the codes that should be written to make a vector if you want you can make your own vector and uh, here in the design you can see your vector okay i'm going to the codes the xml codes and just i need to write background and i should give the address of the vector here add sign drawable uh, and it's here i can choose it uh, and it will be appearing here so uh, but i think uh, that uh, the size of our image view is uh, so small so uh, we cannot see it uh, good let's see it on emulator and yeah it's so small so here I'm going to change the width and the height of the image view to 200 dp and reinstall the application and it's here totally visible okay that was everything about vector assets if you find this video interesting, please remember to share it with your friends and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please write down in the comment box below and I will be so happy to answer to your questions. Remember to subscribe to the channel for new videos. Have a good time. See you in next videos. Bye bye.